Hey guys, just a quick video today about foam rollers. If you're part of a gym, or you exercise regularly, or you run, you need to be using one of these. There's different types, and you use them to loosen up your muscles. When you train a lot, your muscles become tight, and you need to keep them loose so you can keep functioning to your best. Now there's different types. The one, the most basic is the foam type of foam roller. This is a Reebok foam roller. I would say this is kind of a, a good entry level foam roller. You can get more basic ones. Uh, they're a little bit less dense, so a little bit less solid. They'll be great for personal use. If you're only using them once in a while, they'll be absolutely fine. The Reebok one is fairly dense. It will last you quite a, a long time. This will probably go for about 20 pounds from Amazon. My favorite though is the Trigger Point foam roller. The reason why I like this is because it's solid in the middle. It's made of pretty sturdy plastic. You can stand on it, you can abuse it as much as you like and it won't disfigure. They say that the ridges and the dimples are to simulate a, a person's thumbs or, or fingers. To me, it doesn't really feel like that. It just feels pretty much like all the others. But it's nice and strong and it will last you a long time. You can get longer ones. Uh, this will probably retail for around 30 to 35 pounds. The longer ones, probably around 50. Then you've got this savage looking one, which is called the Rumble Roller. It looks pretty nasty, but it is a little bit different in the way that it's got all these nodules. It looks fairly hard, but actually it's, it's pretty soft. This comes in two varieties. It comes in the blue and it comes in the black. The black one is a little bit harder. So if you're very used to foam rolling, the black one is probably the one you should get. Again, this comes in long and short. If you go for a shorter one, it's slightly narrower. So if you're going to get a, uh, this, if you're going to get the shorter one, just be aware it's a little bit smaller. It'll be great for getting into smaller parts like your rotator cuff. Um, but this one for me is probably the best one. There'll be videos coming out soon on how to do foam rolling uh, because there's a lot of stuff out there that's not very good. So we're going to talk you through exactly how to do it. But for now, I think that's enough. And if you guys have got any questions, just drop us an email on the address below. And we'll speak to you guys soon.